It's time once again for that business show with Jamie Maloney on 1250 Wins WHNZ, where business becomes show business. Jamie is a leading Tampa Bay real estate agent and featured on the Wall Street Journal's list of top 100 real estate agents in the nation. Jamie invites you to list your home with him today and learn more at tampabayradio.com. Now, live in studio and promoting the entrepreneurial spirit that drives the American economy, your host, Jamie Maloney. Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to hour number two of That Business Show with Jamie Maloney, where business becomes show business. Weekday mornings, 7 to 9 here on 1250 Wins WH and Z. Learn more about the program over at tampabayradio.com. Also over there, you'll find a number of different features. You'll see I sell real estate. You'll also see all of our past guests via the uh, guest uh, the guest network tabs. And we also do a uh, daily uh, write-up of the uh, program. So we have a blog, and every uh, episode I've ever had has a write-up associated with it. So it's also an excellent resource for finding service providers in the uh, Tampa Bay region. So consider the blog just another resource of the uh, program, Tampa Bay Radio. Dot wordpress.com is the uh, blog's uh, URL, but it's also embedded inside the uh, site over at tampabayradio.com as well. Also still looking for content uh, for the program at all times. So if you've got a uh, message, product, or service you'd like to uh, get in front of the uh, community, please use the contact form over at tampabayradio.com. Be sure to send me a media pitch, something with a little bit of depth and uh, good information as to why you'd like to uh, come onto the uh, program. And we'll see about getting you lined up uh, for an upcoming uh, show here on that business show. Time to bring in my uh, guest for the hour here. I got Kelly Ham, who is an expert contributor to the program, founder and principal consultant of Bill Meyer Ham Consulting. You can learn more about her throughout the discussion. BillMeyerHam.com. Kelly, welcome back to the program today. Good morning, Jamie. Good morning. So and we're coming off a pretty uh, good. Kelly is also a Tampa Bay business owner member, and we're coming off at an event last night, and we had a lot of fun at that. I know you wanted to share your yeah, experience. Yeah, we with had that. a lot of fun. And before I forget, my uh, my. Um, colleague, uh, Suzanne Lewis, who's also my sister who you met, mm -hmm. wanted to make sure that I said hello to you and to Josh and to Rick. She's hello. up in Connecticut for well, hello, the Suzanne. next couple uh, <laughs> months working out of the Connecticut office. And uh, she's like, tell them. I told them I was going back on the radio. And she's like, tell them I said hello. And I said, I sure will. So Well, we appreciate that. And hello to Suzanne as well. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you, sort of. <laughs> <laughs> you bet. <laughs> You're funny. Uh, so last night, you know, I am a TBBO member, and I wanted to just give a big shout out to you and to Chris and Katie and the whole team who really worked on putting on an amazing event. Since I'm so, uh, you know, involved with workforce culture and in mm -hmm. employee engagement, what really resonated with me was the speakers, the panel. I don't know if you've told anyone really, you know, today what what went on last night. You know, we had, you guys had four speakers yep. who talked about um, uh, leadership books. books. Yeah, leadership the, books and how they implemented their strategies into their businesses. Yes. Yeah, it was fantastic, Jamie. And uh, what resonated with me was all of them talked about workforce culture without even really making it, you know, loud screaming out there. It was it continues to be an underlying theme that is just so um, relevant in all the businesses and. Uh, the one gal who was uh, who was from the insurance company, you know, something that she did that was just awesome was she pays attention to when she onboards her staff. They celebrate, you know, when they when they are hired, they celebrate the hire, and what that does right off from the beginning, you know, of coming and joining an organization is huge. You know, imagine how that person is going to feel being part of an organization who's gone out of their way. You know, I was very impressed that she said, we put all that paperwork aside. We don't bombard them with that when they come on. We just welcome them. You know, we make sure that they have their business cards. Yeah. Um, Adam. Uh, Adam Demuzio. Yeah, he was he, a guest this past week. Mm -hmm. He was a guest this past week. And Adam actually joined me at one of our seminars to talk about workforce culture. And they've got some great things going on over there at Red Rook. But he, too, you know, talked about that. Mark Enzin, fantastic guy. I love Mark. Uh, just uh, the way he tells his stories and the authenticity. It was just, a, and, and the last gentleman who spoke, I'm drawing a blank on his name. Um, you talked about the one question that you could oh ask. Oh my God, the one make, thing. Yeah. yeah, the one thing you could ask to make your job or whatever it is easier, whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish easier and more efficient to get done. And yeah. you boil it down to question, you keep asking that and you finally get down to what you need to do. It, it was based off, uh, I forget the, the uh, book's name, but it was, he actually gives I think like it was a, the one thing. The one, think, oh, you're right. Yeah, that's right, the, one the one thing. thing. Yeah. 
and he does a presentation on that and he boiled down an hour's presentation into into 20 minutes but uh, a lot of people with some good takeaways uh, from that discussion as well interesting that you brought up adam because i was going to mention him at some point throughout the uh, interview uh they're big on workplace culture over Mm -hmm. there he was uh with uh the red rook and uh in on the uh the show earlier this week and uh, you know they're big on that they have a basketball court and foosball and themed bathrooms but they have a staff of like 20 people but they never turn over they really enjoy working together yeah you know we talked um i've I've spoken with adam a, a a few times now he's just a fantastic guy and i like the way he leads is so um so awesome and he and i spoke afterwards last night we talked about just some of the financials and things that he shares with his people i don't know if you remember during the conversation when he was talking about okay we know what our bottom line is what we need to bill every month etc and so uh what i love is that he makes sure that his people understand what those numbers are so that they too truly are part of you know working toward achieving those goals yeah, they got a lot of good things going on. Now, there. how long have you been with Tampa Bay Business Owners now? Uh, it's I joined in uh, November of last year. November of last year, and I just became partners with Chris a few months ago as a result of the uh, uh, the show, and I was a member uh, beforehand. Mm-hmm. It's just an amazing organization. What are some of the takeaways that you've taken from the organization as a whole since joining? You know, uh, as a new entrepreneur, again, I have many, many years of experience working, you know, with talent optimization, and as an HR director, when I came. Um, to be an entrepreneur, the Tampa Bay business owners just welcomed me. Um, the people have all been fantastic to to just help me with resources. Any questions that I have, um, some things that are new to me as a as a businesswoman. Um, there's just been a lot of very kind, bright, professional people who have who have just given me resources that have been phenomenal. Um, you know, Rick is a perfect example of someone who. Every time I see this gentleman, he's awesome. I love Rick. <laughs> he works our photographer in studio yes. as well. Yes. Uh, he introduces me to people and makes connections for me. And that's that's what Tampa Bay business owners, you know, does as well. In yep, addition, you're right. yep, you you're know, right. the tool the programs you guys offer, you know, the uh, education stuff. It's just a talk about a culture. It's just a wonderful culture of professional people who are all driven to accomplish fantastic things. That's what we aim to do, yeah, connect people and uh, get them collaborating and uh, eliminating the cutthroat business environment that may exist in some communities. We don't want that existing here in Tampa Bay. We want people working together because it's better for the consumer out there and overall and also better experience for us business owners out there. Yeah, it's so true. And it's just a nice group of people where it's a trusted confidant. You can feel very comfortable asking questions and not feeling you know, intimidated like a knucklehead, like, oh, you should know that. No, mm-hmm. you didn't, might not know that. And it's okay to ask this very safe group of people. No judgment, just all support. And you and Katie and Chris and your staff, you know, just mm-hmm. really top notch. So mm-hmm. I, I highly recommend, <laughs> you know, I drive up from Bradenton, Sarasota to be part of many of these events. And it is worth the drive. Wow, that's incredible you drive out. Because we hear people say, oh, you know, I can't go north of Kennedy or I can't go south of Kennedy in Tampa. And they, and they live fall. south. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I grew up in, you know, where I grew up in West Virginia, we drove an hour and a half for the mall. We drove three hours for the airport. I got used to driving. And yeah. so driving from South Tampa to the Carrollwood, that's not far to no. me. Yeah. That's, that's nothing. But it's Even funny how the day. culture in Tampa can be a little bit funny like that. So. They think that mm-hmm. driving, you know, north of Kennedy or south of Kennedy is a yeah. far drive. Yeah, I don't hear none of that either. I mean, I drive 45 minutes to and from Newport Ritchie yeah, to get here Newport every day. Yeah, you're coming out of Newport Yeah, you're coming in out of Newport Ritchie. What time are you getting up in the morning right now? Probably 4.30. 30, 4 30, yeah. yeah, I get wow. up around 4.30, 5 o'clock. I'm usually up around 4 and then laying in bed for like an hour before I actually get up. Thank That's you. usually... That's usually my my procedure. Yeah. Anytime I get up in the morning, I wake up and and uh, and I don't even need the alarm clock anymore. It, it, my body has like an internal alarm, so because on weekends I'll sleep right through four, I five, know. six. I'll yeah. wake up around seven or eight, but during the weekdays I'll wake up at four just on my own. And I wonder I'll, how you punch the snooze button with that kind of a internal <laughs> alarm clock. <laughs> I've never seen you come in with a black eye, so I guess it works out okay. I hit the snooze. That's what happened to my eye today. I hit the snooze button. So. I know because it was a late night last night. You it were was. there too. And uh, I was yeah. there, so I said, you know, I'm going to drive home to turn around and come back again. All fantastic stuff, though. All yeah. really good. So yeah, thank very well, you. 
Very well attended event last night, about a little over 100 people or so. Uh, we do those every first Wednesday of the month at the uh, Center Club from 5 to 7.30. Our next one, July 6th, is going to focus on uh, health care for your business. It's going to be a presentation by Dr. Eric J. Crawl, owner of the uh, My DC, My DPC Doc Family Medicine. He's a concierge medicine service, and we've talked about that uh, on a segment last mm-hmm. week with Dr. Uh, Tommy McElroy, or McElroy, I should say, uh, on how popular concierge medicine is becoming nowadays because yeah. of you know the issues with with, uh, the, with Obamacare. It used to be a tool of the uh, wealthy, but not so much anymore. We had a good discussion last week, and I know this presentation by Dr. Eric Kral will be just another great you know, uh, resource for the uh, for the uh, community. Now, Kelly, your background is in human resources, human HR, resources, and HR. Okay. You know, it's funny because uh, still, when I talk to people, when I meet people, some people go, oh no, HR, like they're afraid. Like, really? Don't be afraid of me. Um, uh, <laughs> You're the but, one that has to have the tough conversations with people, though. You know, I, 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 I spent years having tough conversations with people without a doubt and now for this part it's funny you say that for for my next chapter you know my my journey now is having conversations with leaders and organizations to create environments where we're not having to have those tough conversations with people because I strongly believe when you get your culture right and it's aligned with your business plan your business results, you know, shine, you achieve them and you have low turnover, you have engaged um, employees, your production and your financials are up. So, yeah, I might have spent, you know, the earlier part of my career as an HR director for a, a large organization um, having conversations that not always went well with employees. Um, but I look at it very differently now moving forward. That. That'll be the theme for the rest of the discussion. We'll be talking again about internal communications to your teams. How clear is your message? Again, we're talking with Kelly Ham, founder and principal consultant of Bill Meyer Ham Consulting, and you can learn more about her, BillMeyerHam.com, or give her a call, 941-201-4650. 941-201-4650 or again visit billmeyerham.com you're listening to that business show jamie maloney where business becomes show business tampa bay weather is a roof killer that's why when getting your roof done you want it done right hi i'm jamie maloney of that business show when considering a new roof or repair talk to westfall roofing they've been installing high quality roofs in tampa bay for over 25 years get a free no obligation estimate by calling 855-99 roofing That's 855-99-ROOFING. Find out what already 15,000 satisfied customers already know. Call now, 855-99-ROOFING. In an age when the good and the better vie for attention, it is the best that stands out. The best of Tampa Bay from Proudly, Florida, is the love story for the city of Tampa. Celebrating success, sharing achievements, a tribute to enterprise, and community spirit. Let Proudly, Florida showcase your business to your city, your nation, and the world. For more information, email info at ProudlyFlorida.com and be sure to visit ProudlyFlorida.com. Are you in need of new flooring or ready to tackle that home remodeling project? Then contact Jaeger & Company Incorporated, a family-owned, state-certified general contracting business with over 70 years of experience and the recipient of the Angie's List Super Service Award for the last eight years in multiple categories. Jaeger & Company comes to you with their shop-at-home flooring sales service, and their hardwood flooring refinishing is the very best in the Bay. Kitchen and bath design featuring American-made, well-born cabinets, and all work is done by employees, not subcontractors. Learn more at JaegerFlooring.com. If you've been following that business show on Facebook and Twitter, you may have noticed the quality of some of our images. That's because one of our sponsors is pro photographer Rick Taseda, a member of the Professional Photographers of America. You can view his extensive work by going to his website at RickTaseda.com or call him for an appointment to chat about your photography needs at 813-641-4757. That's 813-641-4757. 4757. Rick Tosseda Visuals. Call him for your next event or project. Savvy business owners utilize technology to connect with customers, communicate among teams, and collaborate with partners. Even with advances in technology, you all know it's not infallible. Where do you turn when your technology starts working against you? Who do you depend on to keep your team productive? Don't wait until your technology fails you. Get ahead of the crisis and contact the professionals at Alpha Computing Solutions so they can show you how to keep your technology running smoothly. Visit them online at www.alphacomputing.com. 
www.tampabaycomputing.com. Attention medical professionals. Have you heard that Tampa Bay will become the first certified wellness district in the country? Thanks to Jeff Fennick's revitalization at Channel Side, the Dr. Whisperer wants to streamline your efforts and preparation. So when you're ready to ignite your practice, use the Dr. Whisperer's public relations expertise to spread the word. Use the Dr. Whisperer to motivate your staff. And use the Dr. Whisperer to recruit and secure leaders within your practice. Call the Dr. Whisperer today at 727-420-2481 or visit the thedrwhisperer.com where they write your prescription for success. Who doesn't have a smartphone these days? And of course, there's an app for everything. Well, almost everything. That's why the folks at Popcorn Apps started developing mobile applications. They saw people like you with genius ideas unable to make those thoughts a reality. They develop applications for tens of thousands of dollars less than you'll find anywhere else and will turn your idea into a reality in a matter of just a few months. Think you're not ready? Think again. They are your one-stop shop for mobile application development. See them at popcornapps.com with a K in popcorn. Or call them at 727-415-6705 for your free consultation and pop your kernel of an idea into a million-dollar business and a world changer starting today. What's up, business rock stars? Are you ready to bring out the CEO in you? Join Julianne Nichols, CEO of Focus on You Strategy, every other Friday on that business show. She'll be talking with other chief entrepreneurial officers about how they grew their businesses. Remember, you could join the conversation at Focus on You Strategies, Focus Fridays Facebook group at facebook.com slash groups slash Focus Fridays. That's facebook.com slash groups slash Focus Fridays. Be the CEO of you. From the Bright House Networks Traffic Center. Heavy traffic now still on the interstate southbound 275 between Beers and Hillsboro Avenue. Also southbound I-75. Still a bit slow between Fowler Avenue and I-4. The Summit Expressway slow between I-75 and 50th Street. And Hillsboro Avenue still shut down in the eastbound direction at Orient Road. See traffic problems. Call the injury firm of Abrahamson Uric. Hillsboro traffic tip line 866-545-9595. This report is brought to you by the Foundation for a Better Life. When Marlon Shirley was five, he lost his foot. Today, as the world's fastest amputee, he runs the 100 meters in less time than it takes to listen to this. Overcome it. Pass it on. From a foundation for a better life. Today, partly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers, high 92. Tonight, partly cloudy, low 77. Tomorrow, a 30% rain chance and hot, high 92. You're listening to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney on 1250 Winds WHNZ. Missed a show? Then head over to tampabayradio.com where all shows are available on demand. Once again, here's your host, Jamie Maloney. And we're back to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney where business becomes show business. Learn more about the program over at tampabayradio.com and about Tampa Bay business owners over at tbbo.org. Currently talking to Kelly Ham, founder and principal consultant of Bill Meyer Ham Consulting. And you can check out their site, Bill Meyer Ham dot com and kelly let's talk about you know clarity of a message you know leaders aren't always clear on the messages they want to convey how do you deal with people in this manner yeah, so um, a couple weeks ago i was on and we talked about don't forget about the people in the back seat and some of the things we talked about just touched on was um communications um what amazes me is that a lot of businesses most businesses really focus on communications to their external customers of course they need to and their stakeholders. But it's easy to forget uh, your internal customer, which is your, your employees, and what messages that you're needing or should be conveying to them. And what amazes me is that people sometimes forget to put a plan together or be thoughtful about, okay, what do my people need to know? What should I be doing? And when you talk about an engaged environment or workforce culture that is engaging, you, you communication is one of the things that are that's easy free and so impactful and powerful now do you find that leaders are clear communicators a lot of times or do you find that they're unclear just that as a general rule of thumb yeah it's it's a mix I think that you know leaders are in positions for a reason they they usually are are very clear on what their goals and objectives are what I find is where the the disconnect is or the gap exists is from the leadership down to the frontline employee or associate that they forget to say okay what do they need to know so what i like to work with um with leaders on is saying okay every time you're working on something what just take a pause and say what does my employee base need to know um 
and how I begin my engagement with communication, you know, um, initiatives with people is saying, okay, let's first start at your goals and your vision and your mission. Are, are you clear leaders on what that is? Has that been communicated effectively to your employee base? And it doesn't matter if you're a small group, a medium size, or a large group. Everyone has goals and, and missions and, and a vision of where they want to go. The key is making sure that your employees, you know, understand that. So how do you, when you come into a new business and you're consulting, how do you identify clarity issues within the organization? It may not always be clear when you sit down and talk to the boss. Yeah. You know, he may be perfectly clear with you, but his message to staff and other, you know, managers may not be so clear. How do you recognize that? I love your questions, Jamie, because we don't even prep on this and you're asking, <laughs> you know, really uh, very good leading questions because one of the things that we do is go in and do an assessment, an inventory, an informal, you know, uh, uh, discovery um, uh, time where we not only work with the leaders, but we work with the employees to find out what's working well, what isn't working well, where they see there are some gaps, um, how much communication is uh, 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 disseminated down to them, um, are, are they clear on what the uh, goals are of the organization, and how they fit in. So in a very short period of time through a simple assessment, um, I'm able to ascertain a lot of valuable information. From there, we can go ahead and begin to build on what exists with a current ex uh, communication plan or create one. No, it's a lot of the messages that, you know, leaders put out, you know, focus maybe on confusion, fear, and paralysis. But, you know, it's hard to be, you know, positive and uplifting sometimes when you're under so much stress. Yeah. But that's really what gets people to, uh, you know, respond is, yeah. you know, positive clarity. But, I mean, how can you, I mean, some personality types just don't function like that. How would you advise them to, would you say, take the communications to a secondary source then at that point or what? No, no. So I would say um, be clear at the top on what your messages are and clear, consistent, um, thoughtful, transparent. So once your leadership team is clear on that, fantastic. And then put a plan in place where you're going to very um, uh, logically and through a process, a defined process, uh, communicate those messages down. Um, so I, I'm, I'm not sure that I understood the first part of your question about the leaders being. I was going to say some people just their how they talk, their tone is always yeah. just kind of negative, yeah. and it's just hard to kind of you know relay a positive, uplifting a tone yeah. to the voice or to the message, and it comes across wrong to so many people, even though that may not be the intent. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Is it better in that Got situation it. to take it through maybe a secondary source? Yeah. So what I like to do then is that's where the business coaching comes in, and that's the beauty of Bill Meyer Ham Consulting. We offer all these types of services that. That's one on one coaching with the leader to say, you know, work with them on how their um, leadership presence, their leadership shadow, their communication style. We work one on one with them on that to, uh, you know, bring awareness and through coaching, you know, allow them to better improve. Their leadership how much shadow. should a leader use written communication like email versus in person you know formal meetings i mean so much everybody's about documentation that's why they like to put yeah. everything in writing these but yeah. it depersonalizes so much how much of it should be written versus in person meetings i think it's a mix because um we are such right in the in the mode of email jail email overload how many times do people actually open emails uh, certainly if it's coming from one of their leaders an employee is t tends to open that i think a good leader has a mix of a a uh, presence with their employees you know standing up holding meetings um, even if they're virtual meetings, just having um, uh, visibility with their staff, but also regular communications. Um, it doesn't have to just be through email. Some things that uh, we work with organizations on that work well is um, email blasts, um, newsletters, um, manager minutes. Um, there's so many ways that uh, a leader can communicate what it is that he or she is trying to convey through many, many different modules. Okay, mm -hmm. and so you put in place, or you help them with a communication strategy. Elaborate yeah. on this service or how you do this. Yep, so we go in through, again, through all that data collection and, and finding out um, you know, what, what their needs are, begin to map out and say, okay, let's put a plan together that is going to um, be uh, clear, concise, and consistent with uh, messaging to your employees. And we map that out and figure out what's the best medium 
to convey the messages. With the efforts of increasing the bottom line, very important. Yeah. Leadership, clarity, workforce, culture, all the services of Kelly Ham and Bill Meyer Ham Consulting. Pick up the phone and give them a call today for a free consultation. 941-201-4650. Again, 941-201-4650. Or visit BillMeyerHam.com. Coming back from the break, we'll have a little bit more with Kelly Ham again with Bill Meyer Ham Consulting. And you're currently listening to Tampa. I mean, you're listening to that business show, Jamie Maloney, where business becomes show business. Hi, welcome to Jaegers. We just want to take a minute and show you what we're all about. Uh, at Jaegers, our primary business is hardwood flooring, although we are remodelers for kitchen, bath, and general construction. We operate a fleet of shop at home vans that have all the flooring type products hardwood flooring, laminate flooring, tile, stone, what have you. So we're able to come out first with products in our vehicles and take a look at the setting how the colors will work, and then to be able to come up with some options and ideas for you. If that's not good enough, we have a large distribution center that we inventory product and have a nice display area. Maneuvers, Saturdays Live, noon to 2 p.m. on 1250 WHNZ. And download the Cigar Day mobile app now to listen anytime in the iTunes app or Android Play Stores. Heavy traffic now still on the interstate southbound 275 between Beers and Hillsborough Avenue. Also southbound I-75. Still a bit slow between Fowler Avenue and I-4. The Summit Expressway is slow between I-75 and 50th Street. And Hillsborough Avenue still shut down in the eastbound direction at Orient Road. See traffic problems? Call the injury firm of Abrahamson Uterich. Hillsborough traffic tip line 866-545-9595. 1250 winds, weather center forecast. Sunshine through the morning, cloud cover picking up this afternoon with a 30% chance of scattered showers. Low 90s for the high, low in the mid-70s. Forecasts remaining the same Friday, Saturday. A little front at the beginning of next week. A little cooler rain chance will be higher. Impact Radio, 1250 wins, WHNZ. Tonight at 8 NBA Finals Basketball, 9 o'clock tip-off on Impact Radio, 1250 wins. You're listening to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney on 1250 Wins WHNZ. Missed a show? Then head over to tampabayradio.com where all shows are available on demand. Once again, here's your host, Jamie Maloney. And we're back to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney where business becomes show business. Kicking off the weekday mornings, 7 to 9 here on 1250 Wins WHNZ. Also, uh, we're rebroadcasting an hour of the uh, program uh, afternoons at 1 o'clock over on the uh, station as well. So thank you for the to the station for helping spread the message of that business show just another added benefit of being associated with the great people over here at iHeartRadio. Also, we got some events coming up through the Tampa Bay business owners. We mentioned the uh, the next uh, main event coming up on July 6th, but we got three events uh, happening uh, next week. Monday is going to be uh, crowdfunding, uh, f- using that for more than just money, Money, I should say, leveraging crowdfunding for more than just money. Chris Kremitzkos is going to be putting that on, and he's going to be kicking off the crowdfunding campaign for his podcast documentary, The Messengers. And uh, this is going to be a great event, not only how to raise money for your own event or your own product, but also how to use it as a public relations strategy 
and we're also going to have uh, some uh, added benefits and uh, stuff in there. Uh, one of our uh, um, uh, supporters of the Tampa Bay business owners, Neil Galarte, Wild Style Media, is going to come in with his drone and show us how that thing works. He had that last night at the main event, how he can get some pictures and incorporate that into your video. So uh, if you need somebody in there to get uh, some drone work done, Neil Galarte over at Wild Style Media, he's been on the program a few times as well. He's also going to be taking part in the workshop and showing you how to use a drone for uh, getting some good footage for your videos. On Tuesday, we're doing an intro event here at the iHeartRadio station, 2.30 to 4.30. If you are wanting to learn more, but with no commitment required and free of charge, head over to here uh, and we'll give you a free radio tour after the uh, program as well. Again, 2.30 to 4.30 at iHeart. And then on Wednesday, we'll be uh, doing an event here at 9 o'clock in the morning. I'll be interviewing Kim Serafini, and then we'll be doing a workshop with her at 9 o'clock after the uh, program. So all those uh, and more information on that can be found over at TampaBayRadio.com as well as TBBO.org forward slash events. Just take advantage of uh, the events and register on the events calendar. Currently talking to Kelly Ham, founder and principal consultant of Bill Meyer Ham Consulting and also a Tampa Bay business owner member. You can learn more about her at BillMeyerHam.com. And we talk a lot, uh, we're talking about that last segment, Clarity of a Message, what a leader needs to do to get, you know, their their message across to their staff clearly and effectively and how Kelly can assist with that. And it comes across in the bottom line. If you have an effective workplace culture, it's going to result in profits to your business. So very important component uh, in your business, Kelly, a resource for that. So Kelly, you have years of uh, human resources experience behind you. You launched this company with this focus on workplace culture. Why this niche? I love it sounds so cliche. <laughs> as soon as I started to say it, I caught myself. But I do love people. And I have years of, you know, um, working with people every day uh, as a human resources professional. And I, I just, um, why I started this business was because I am very jazzed up about talent optimization. You know, uh, how people do their jobs, how engaged they are, uh, how effective they can be, um, how much more productive they can be happier they can be and uh it's it's just just really really important to me and i feel like that's one of my sweet spots now did you when you're working in hr did you see other uh consultants coming in and offering this type of service where they focused on the culture of the workplace did you see this as an underserved need in the marketplace so i um so the organization that i worked for actually paid attention to culture um and so we i was one of um other HR directors who was was engaged in uh, helping leaders uh, improve their organizations through uh, workforce culture communications. Uh, Really, it's talent optimization or um, uh, it's really just paying attention to your your organization and the people who who work for you and what the needs are, what do they need to be successful, is there clarity, um, is there support, is there guidance, and all of that falls under the umbrella of talent optimization and workforce culture. What are some immediate strategies uh, business leaders can employ to immediately begin to improve workplace culture without having to come in and, you know, go through programs and consulting and everything? Uh, it could just be as simple as adding more break time or adding a, adding a basketball court to the uh, thing like Red Rook did uh, earlier this week. What do you think, Josh? Do your job or get fired. Yeah. <laughs> but what are some immediate, you know, solutions out there that somebody could take advantage of? Pay attention to your leadership shadow. As a leader, Pay attention to how you show up every day, how you communicate, how engaged you are, how supportive you are. Um, uh, set an example. Set an example. Be authentic. Listen. You know, change some behaviors that might be getting in the way or being barriers to getting toward success. You know, yeah, we're, when we're, it was interesting when we were talking with Adam because they, they really focus on having fun at the business and they yep. have basketball court and, you know, themed bathrooms and these other games. And I was yeah. like, this has got to create some type of problem though. Do you have to write these policies into your manuals? I mean, how much time can you give somebody to play basketball or, you know, they're going to start using the excuse, oh, we're working and we're also playing a game of one-on-one. I mean, there comes a point yeah. to where you're having too much fun and not getting yeah. the job done. How would you advise? Yeah, there's a balance. And so the, the, what, what's, it uh, appears to be going on really well over at Adam's place, uh, Red Rook, is they don't have turnover. And they don't have turnover mm-hmm. for a reason. Yep, he's got the basketball courts and the garden, which is really, really, very cool. Um, but those employees are engaged in their work. They understand what the, the business needs are. They understand the financials. They understand their jobs. And they want to stay. In fact, we were talking about that last night. They don't want to leave. Um, and so 
when people are having too much fun on the basketball court or whatever <laughs> the environment is, they weed, they get weeded out, you know, because at the end of the day, it is all about results, contributions to the bottom line, contributions to the organization. And uh, if you're not um, meeting your goals and performing the way you should be, people have conversation with you mm -hmm. about, you know, getting you up to uh, speed, perform, or you do get, you know, weeded out. And as, turnover is one of those hidden costs that it's hard to yeah. measure, but the cost of losing staff and then training new people and the lost productivity, those are things that really ultimately are only going to show up in the bottom line. But that's yeah. something that you've got to be mindful of is the cost of turnover. Yeah, it's huge. And it's funny um, that uh, I, I say the cost of turnover is anywhere between 30, 40 percent. Uh, the Society of Human Resources Management uh, just came out with something not too long ago where they published that the cost of turnover and replacing an employee is 100% of that job. So I, I didn't realize that it had gotten to that high, but when you think about the factor of hiring, getting a person up to speed, you know, the training, getting them acclimated to their, their job, what their responsibilities are, before you begin to see results from them, it's, it's quite an investment. So you spent years in corporate uh, working for a, a large company yep. and you stepped outside the box and became an entrepreneur. Yeah. You know, what was your inspiration and did you have any fears in starting your own business? Yeah, I say I'm either crazy or courageous. <laughs> um, so uh, my inspiration was a couple things. One, I knew that um, corporate America had been very good to me, provided very nice uh, life for my family. And uh, uh and I appreciate every, every experience um, that I had there. Um, but I knew that I was stuck and I wanted to be more creative and innovative and really make a difference in um, organizations where they were driving their results uh, without a lot of bureaucracy, mm -hmm. without a lot of... Um, uh, is Just, there a certain niche business that you wanted to work with? Is it, I mean, will you work anywhere with, you know, the small mom and pop up to the Fortune 500 company, for instance? Or what's your niche? Who do you like to work with? Well, I, I've had great success working with technology companies and technology leaders. And the reason I think that, you know, it's been a good partnership is because technologists are awesome at technology. Uh, um, but... Um, not so much on understanding the the people side of it the people side of the business right so if you look at a a, a model an operating model uh, people process technology i'm all about the people and so where the partnership came in and why i really like working with technology folks is i can come in and say okay what is it that you're trying to do and let's really look at the talent leverage the talent you focus on the technology aspects of it let me focus on the people side of it and uh together you know we will accomplish great things is there a certain industry out there that it's just hard to get people to connect with one another because of that's just how their mind works you have you know you have your lawyers you have your doctor personality you have your engineer personality i would think the engineers are kind of hard to mesh together just because i worked they're with always, engineers they're for, always grumpy too. i always worked i worked for engineers for, for years over at mosaic and so they weren't exactly the most people pro, uh you know oriented but they were very process oriented so right. i would imagine if you gave them a process they would yeah. follow it i mean is that yeah. your experience with engineers type of personalities yeah it's it's uh, engineering financial technical you know um they gravitate to wanting to define process um uh, procedures um that's because that's what they do they need to you know be very pragmatic in that systematic in in their thinking um but, but I like you, that. But then you run into the abstract thinker who doesn't understand process or they, they understand, but they just don't follow because their brain goes in different directions. Yeah. Do you have different solutions for an abstract thinker? Absolutely. Or? In fact, one of the one of the courses that we do offer, one of the workshops is something called DISC. I was going to talk about it at a, another time, but I'll be bringing it up now um, just uh, briefly. And that is uh, really looking at the behaviors of how everyone thinks, what, what they how they act, um, there's a reason behind that. And so some people are very driven and very results oriented. Some people are very conscientious about, you know, the financials and the bottom line. Some are supporters, some are cheerleaders. And the beauty of uh, one of the things that we offer is having people understand what behavioral tendencies they, they have and what their teammates have. And by bringing that awareness to teams, people then go, oh, aha, okay, Josh isn't a 
dope. He just thinks, you know, this way or that way. I just I need say to, ridiculous things, actually. <laughs> yeah, I need to adapt my style so that we're more productive together. And he would have the same understanding of what my style is. And he could say, oh, Kelly does talk a lot and she's, you know, a visionary. I need to approach her differently. And things like that in the workplace, I mean, it's so impactful. When Jamie. you begin working with new clients, do you utilize disk profiling? Yes. Is that mandatory or is no, that something? No, mandatory. Uh, nothing's but mandatory. It's a, but it's, I mean, it's definitely a great tool for you. I mean, mm-hmm. without it, you'd be a little bit flying, a little bit blind and learning. Oh, but yeah. It's, it's a wonderful tool because um, I know there are lots of great tools out there. The reason I keep going back to DISC is because it's um, very easy for people to understand, apply, and have immediate results from, where people can have an awareness. You know, I, I, I joke about this, but I say, ah, I get my husband now. When I first took it, how many years ago? He and I are uh, have different um, behavioral tendencies. And so I began to appreciate where his thought process came from. He, you know, we're going on 32 years of marriage, obviously, you know, appreciated where I was coming from. Um, but it, it just brings that awareness so people can adjust their style for, you know. A good... Do you see with regards to the leaders, CEOs, when you're doing disc profiles, do you see similar patterns or uh, everybody yeah. thinks that with the disc profile, remember the high D is the dominant, you know, alpha yep. male, alpha female personality. Do you see similar curves or do you see yeah. different ones? No, it's similar because are... um, a leader has to be one who is focused on results, able to make quick decisions, drive um, people uh, very, very much a go-getter. Um, and so that is a leadership uh competency that is pretty evident in in just about every single leader okay and you're trained on how to mesh the different yep. personalities together i Absolutely. wouldn't know what to do with one if i saw one i mean yeah. yeah i can say okay this is what it says about me but i don't know how to implement that into a strategy so that's why you need kelly ham with uh, bill meyer <laughs> ham consulting i love doing that stuff because it's the aha moment and you said why did i get into it it's for those types of things so that people can say i get it i'm i'm okay now i'm going to behave differently i'm going to you know appreciate the person i'm sitting next to but the goal of the disc profile is not to change the personality it's to fit them together in an effective manner to ultimately improve improve workforce culture then team collaboration workforce culture um uh, results and so you have an awareness and an understanding of how people behave and think and then together you create a team profile you don't want everyone the same that's the beauty of you know, having a disc profile that you can say, okay, we've got all D's here, but we don't have anyone who's paying attention to the bottom line or the financials. We need to get some, you know, what they call C's, conscientious people in here. So, um, interesting, interesting approach, something a lot of people aren't paying attention to that they could easily, uh, improve, improve workforce culture and ultimately the bottom line. So contact Kelly for a free consultation and uh, have a conversation. 941-201-4650, 941-201-4650, or visit their website, BillMeyerHam.com. You're listening to That Business Show, Jamie Maloney, where business becomes show business. Did you know the biggest challenge business leaders face today is creating an engaged and productive workforce culture? Bill Meyer Ham Consulting wants to help you solve this challenge. They will help you transform your workforce culture to produce amazing business results. Call Bill Meyer Ham Consulting at 941 201 4650 today or visit BillMeyerHam.com. That's BillMeyerHam.com. Have a conversation. I knew mom wanted to stay at home. It's the center of her family, her life. But helping mom stay in her home while managing mine was just too much. Honestly, it wasn't just about me. Mom didn't want me to be her caretaker. She wanted me to be her daughter. I felt so alone until I found out about Home Instead Senior Care. When we met the people at Home Instead, we just knew they were different. The experience was personal. And most importantly, for Mom and me, I get to be her daughter again. Home Instead Senior Care. To us, it's personal. How many times have you said to yourself, I wish there was an app for that? Stop wishing and start making the world better. Turn your brilliant idea into a profitable business by using popcorn apps. Their affordable app design will help get your blue sky idea or proven business to the next level at a fraction of the cost of other developers. They will help you get through all the steps needed to make your thoughts become live. 
See them at popcornapps.com with a K in popcorn or call them at 727-415-6705 for your free consultation and pop your kernel of an idea into a million dollar business and a world changer starting today. Teresa Turner is a certified public accountant and the founder of Tax Happens, a boutique style CPA firm providing small businesses and individuals with hands-on personalized tax and accounting services. Although we would love to tell you how happy their clients are, we would like you to see for yourself. Tax Happens has 21 Google reviews and a 4.8 star Google rating, 17 Yelp reviews and a 5 star Yelp rating, 38 Facebook reviews and a 4.9 star Facebook rating. What sets Tax Happens apart is number one, upfront pricing, two, clear deadlines, three, personally available year round, and number four, a willingness to empower clients to do as much or as little as they desire. Visit TaxHappens.com for more information. Have you ever tried to buy a home for your family only to find out that you don't qualify for a mortgage loan? You thought that after 20 years as a customer of your bank, they would help you when you needed it the most, right? Unfortunately, the banks of today are not the banks of our parents and grandparents, and our relationships with them just don't matter anymore. My name is Frank Cotto, and I'm the president of the Lincoln Lending Group. We all may need a bank, but we also need a Frank, and that's what I'm here to do for you today. Lincoln Lending Group will waive all of your lending fees, which include your mortgage, application fee, your underwriting fee, processing fees, and any bank points. Just call 813-MORTGAGE. You drop the E, and we'll drop the fee. Tampa Bay weather is a roof killer. That's why when getting your roof done, you want it done right. Hi, I'm Jamie Maloney of That Business Show. When considering a new roof or repair, talk to Westfall Roofing. They've been installing high-quality roofs in Tampa Bay for over 25 years. Get a free, no-obligation estimate by calling 855-99-ROOFING. That's 855-99-ROOFING. Find out what already 15,000 satisfied customers already know. Call now, 855-99-ROOFING. From the RP Funding Traffic Network. Good morning, Crash on westbound Fowler Avenue at Rain Tree Boulevard has that roadway shut down. You'll have to use Fletcher if you're heading westbound from I-75. Again, traffic very slow from I-75 over towards 56th Street trying to get around this situation. Hillsborough Avenue still shut down in the eastbound direction at Orient Road and some delays on the Courtney Campbell Causeway. Crash off to the right-hand side near the beach, but traffic still slow from the Big Bridge. See traffic problems? Call the injury firm of Abrahamson Uter at Hillsborough Traffic Tip Line 866-545-9595. This report is brought to you by Lead safe america more than one in three american kids has lead in their blood no level of lead is safe lead poisoning causes learning disabilities and behavioral disorders has your child been tested learn more at leadsafeamerica.org today partly cloudy with a 20 percent chance of showers high 92 tonight partly cloudy low 77 tomorrow a 30 percent rain chance and hot high 92 you're listening to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney on 1250 Wins WHNZ. Missed a show? Then head over to tampabayradio.com where all shows are available on demand. Once again, here's your host, Jamie Maloney. And welcome back to That Business Show with Jamie Maloney, where business becomes show business. Uh, weekday morning, 7 to 9 here on 1250 Wins WHNZ. Learn more about the program over at tampabayradio.com. All shows are available on demand, and you also search all the local real estate listings because I'm a realtor with Coal Banker, and we got it up there uh, for real estate and the radio show. So we got a combined site there. So a lot of different things going on on the uh, site. And so keep an eye on that each and every week. Currently talking to Kelly Ham, founder and principal consultant for Bill Meyer Ham Consulting. Learn more at BillMeyerHamm.com or give them a call, 941 201 4650. And Kelly, it's uh, important to stress that your services and these types of benefits are not necessarily for the big companies out there any small company can benefit from this yeah we were just talking about the disc profile and i, I want people to understand that um yes I, I i come from a big corporation and i you know still work with big organizations but i also work with you know many small businesses and mid-sized companies i i love working with them and you know even an individual to take the disc profile brings that awareness you know if someone doesn't want to bring it in for their whole team just yet but they as a leader might want to say oh what's my style call me and we'll do the disc profile for you and and just having that awareness and that aha moment i i can't stress it enough the impact that it has and you mentioned you know your relationship with your husband and you so people yes. get some personal benefits from it too Honest yeah to God. or when yeah. you're in a store and you mm-hmm. are you know you know just working with you know whoever's checking you out 
you just then begin to think, oh, they're a D or they're an I or they're an S or a C. You know, it's just. Yeah, who, uh, I might need to call her, man. I've had 36 <laughs> years with myself and it's not going very well. You just, I did, <laughs> use some pointers. I did one of them years ago. I was like, yeah. I'm 38 now. And I was like 23 when I was working at Mosaic when they first put that thing uh, through me. I had a unique one at the time. I was low and everything except the D was really high. And yeah. I looked, my curve looked like nobody else's curve. So yeah. I've always known I'm unique uh, and that proved it. But I'd like to take one again. Again, it's been yeah, so long do so it. do personality profiles change over time like that on those do they show differently on disc profiles Not usually they're they're usually pretty <laughs> consistent <laughs> she's like, basically she just said no you're still a pile of crap <laughs> <laughs> never would i say that i love jamie uh no way uh so your behavioral tendencies are are yours um people might adapt you know we were talking at the break that josh you had mentioned someone was oh, yeah. maybe different you know, in one place versus another. Sometimes people do behave differently depending on the environment. Starbucks employees, you mean? Yeah, they could be, right? Well, the happiest people on the planet, but I know some of them, and when they're not at work, they're just like grumpy and always moody and stuff. And we're doing things they like, but yeah. they get the Starbucks. And I was saying, it almost seems like there's someone behind the veil holding a gun saying, yeah. be happy or I'll shoot you. <laughs> yeah. well, well, you know, it would be good. You know, Josh, you always make me laugh. Uh, to do the profile on you again and your team, you know, mm -hmm. because then not only do you understand yours and kind of revisit it, if you mm -hmm. will, but, uh, you know, your, your team is big and TBBO is big. You have an understanding of, you know, you know, why Christian thinks the way he does, why, you know, I use him as an example because I'm working with him and I love him. Mm -hmm. As you know, he's awesome. Um, you know what I mean? Just that awareness yep, as the leader so that you can adapt your style appropriately. Interesting. So another benefit of working with Kelly Ham, Bill Meyer Ham Consulting. So how do your plans work? Do you come in and uh, do you have just a one plan fits all? Do you have different ways uh, to work within businesses? How do your services work? Yep. So um, it depends on what the needs are. So I go in and I talk to the leader and I say, what's going on in your organization? I'm genuinely interested in what's going on in people's organizations. And then we, we talk about what's getting in your way. Are there any barriers to uh, your meeting your financial and business goals? And let's look at the talent that you have in place, your employee base, I call it talent, that you have in place. And what can we do to leverage that talent so that you're driving, meeting, or exceeding your business goals? Very cool. So where do you see your business at in five years? You launched this what, last year, right? Last year, and last you July. You spent years in HR. Yep. Where do you see your business going to in the future? Growing, growing, growing. Because everywhere I go, people are talking about workforce culture, whether they know it or not, you know, explicitly, or it's just an underlying theme, they're talking about it. And it's important, I feel, as we continue to go through multi-generational workforce, and that's one of the things I'll talk about, you know, on, in, the, in the future, um, is... Uh, we have to be prepared to adapt um, our management styles, our workforce, our environments. And I just see it getting bigger and bigger. And you do some workshops from time to time. Do you have anything on the horizon right now? I don't have um, a planned workshop right now. Um, I probably will be doing some DISC and some more workforce culture things. I'm doing some things for some organizations. Um, but yeah. I really encourage people you know, just call me for a free, you know, 30 minute, you know, conversation and let's, let's figure out what's going on, you know, with your org. Good information. People can again learn more. BillMeyerHam.com. Kelly, thank you so much uh, for you. being in the studio today. Great yeah, conversation. Thanks. thanks guys. And again, pick up the phone and give her a call for that three uh, free 30 minute conversation. 941-201-4650. 941-201-4650. Four six five zero. Also, want to thank the uh, guests that were on the uh, program earlier today. Nick Paris uh, in with the uh, fifth installment of Tech Thursdays. He's also my IT solutions provider. So if you need a man out there who can take care of your IT needs, uh, Nick Paris over at Alpha Computing Solutions can help you out. Learn more over at alphacomputing.com. And also, uh, thank you to Ralph Warmack, District Director for SCORE. And you can learn more about their resources over at SCORE.org. And also, you can learn more about this program over at TampaBayRadio.com. 
all shows available on demand and you can also uh, peruse all the local real estate listings also if you're looking to sell a home in the tampa bay region we do have a free home valuation tool on the uh, screen we need to get some inventory onto the marketplace so put in your home's information if you're looking to sell we'll get you over a valuation get those out within 24 to 48 business hours and again you can check out all the local real estate listings updated uh, immediately on tampabayradio.com and also please check out our blog we do a write-up after each of the uh, programs and it's also an excellent resource for finding service providers in the uh, community as now the show has probably interviewed over 500 different business leaders so if you go to the website search for whatever it is that you're looking for you can find a provider and a good write-up on their services as well you've been listening to that business show jamie maloney where business becomes show business 